Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a That Girl Inspired haul. I have a few clothing pieces, but a lot of other extra things or items. Um, so let's just get right into it. I have a lot of stuff to go through. Okay, I'm gonna start with the smaller things that I got and work my way up to the bigger things and the clothes. So first up, I went to HomeSense and picked up a few, you know, random little pieces, things that I wasn't necessarily looking for, but when I stumbled upon them, I couldn't just leave without them. Uh, first up are these uh, satin pillowcases. They are just standard size, one in each box. They're vegan satin and I got two of them. So they just look like this. I haven't opened them up yet. They're by the brand Shine. They were $13 for each one. Okay, so they just look like this. Not folded. They're just a standard pillowcase size it's really soft and smooth um, and it feels decently thick um, so I'm excited to try these out on my pillows and I just got the white ones I don't know if they have a specific name but just the white ones so look forward to that Next up is a shower cap. The brand is Odera and it was $4.99. It's really cute and has this fun print on it. As you can tell, I haven't used any of this because I'm just taking it out of the box. But I thought that was so cute. So, um... Yeah, you always need a shower cap because I don't wash my hair every day. So that's cute, love that. And then the last thing that I got from HomeSense was this vanilla essential oil blend from Nature Love. It was $7.99. Um, I kind of messed up because I wanted one for my diffuser that I got. Um, but this is one of just those, it's not ones with the droppers that you can drop into the diffuser. But, so super good. Vanilla is my favorite scent. So either way, I thought this would be a great little addition to my life. Next, I made a quick shop to Indigo. This was a big mall trip um but i came across the intelligent change five minute journal and this is a journal that i've worn for a long time but i felt like it wasn't a necessary purchase and it was probably more trendy than anything but i was standing there trying to decide should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, and I, my friend said if you're going to stand there and think about it for this long, you might as well just get it instead of trying to convince yourself you don't want it or leaving and the next time you're here still wanting it. So I picked it up and I'm excited to start using it. The hardcover but the cover is like the linen so really excited about that um we'll start to use that in the new year and i think it's a six month six months worth of daily journaling and it's undated so if you do miss a day you can just go right ahead and jump back in wherever you stopped next um I have this box, it's also picked up from Indigo, but I, Indigo Chapters, 
but I ordered it online because I don't think it was it's available in stores, or at least not in the store I was in. This is another thing that is very like that girl inspired and very trendy and then you wonder whether or not it's worth the price for the actual item or just for the fact that it's so hyped up and so popular. Anyway, this one are the Bala bangles. So they're the wrist and ankle weights by Bala. They sell them like a select selection of what Bala offers at Indigo. So I was really excited to pick them up. It was another thing that I had been thinking about for a long time and I stumbled upon, when I did stumble upon it, it was on sale. So I just impulse bought it, but it's something I've been thinking about for a long time so it wasn't really an impulse buy. But anyway, I picked it up in the charcoal and these are the two pound weights. I haven't opened them obviously but on the back it shows you what it includes and how to put it on. It comes in a little carrying bag and like I said I got the charcoal ones. I'm really excited. I've been doing a lot more Pilates so I don't want to add them on just yet because I'm still working on my form but I feel like these would be a good addition for when I want a little more on my Pilates days. Next since we're on that same train, I'm going to set active um, in line on the fitness train. Um, they started with their holiday packaging, but on that first leg of their sale, for me in Canada, there's like a $20 duties fee. First thing I got is the body crop from Set Active in the color Onyx. I have set active pieces and this is one of those pieces that I also wanted to pick up um, but held off until the sale because it's not a need it's a want but I think it's really cute and I tried it on and it fits really well and it's like the box cut bra as well the sculpt flex um, so I was really excited to get that and try it and I'm really happy with that. The next thing I got for a complete set, which is not really weather appropriate, but here we are, are the bike shorts. Also the Sculpt Flex um, bike shorts in Onyx. I got these both in a size large. Um, these are nice, they fit like the leggings but they, the, insem, the inseam is like four and a half inches and then the bottom band is quite snug. So if you have the Sculpt Flex, you know the, the top, it fits and then as you wear it, it stretches out. But it fits, it doesn't necessarily hug, it just sits on you nicely, whereas the bottom it is a snug cuff and does like dig into your little thighs so that's my only complaint here um but i do like them i obviously haven't worked out in them or anything but i'm excited to try those out Next up, we'll go into Sephora. He gave us just the plain bag this time. Um, I went in probably on the last day of the their VIB 
Beauty Insider um, sale. Um, but the first thing that I really went in for was the First Aid Beauty uh, Value Kit. Um, yeah, so the facial cleanser, the re Ultra Repair Cream are two of my favorite products, at least that I've tried so far. And I also have used the pads and those three are all full size in the kit. And then it also comes with the niacinamide brightening eye cream and the bump eraser body scrub. So I felt like this was a good way to get back into my regular favorite skincare without breaking the bank um, and also to try new pieces because I love those items but then I end up being like should I really be spending that much money on skincare but that is my favorite skincare and does work really well for me personally so I think um, the holidays when they do these value sets is a good time to just pick up or refill or whatever on these next up another classic favorite is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is um, in granite yeah um, this is what I use last I tried the the brow definer recently and that's what I've been using but since because of the sale again buying what I know that I like I just went back to my brow was um, as a restock before I need it while the sales going on and last but not least I got the mini size of you know when you're walking through to check out and they have the little minis I saw the super goop glow screen sunscreen SPF 40 um, this is the one with the glowing finish and I've heard people talk about it I wanted to try it out always need sunscreen so I thought why not so I just picked up the mini size I'm excited to try it. Uh, okay, and along the same lines of skincare and body care and all that good stuff and repurchases from Amazon, I just, I picked up my Vital Proteins Collagen. This is the one I use in my coffee in the morning. Um, just a scoop of it. And this is not me recommending anything in particular, just what I um picking up and purchasing and all that good stuff another favorite of mine is the hemp's body lotion this is the sweet pineapple and honey melon scent um i really like this one i think this is maybe my third purchase of it and just right now it's my favorite lotion a bit of a splurge I think Alicia Marie was the one that started the whole you need to buy this and smell it because it's amazing and I agree it's amazing and I love smelling good and sweet so I just decided to pick that up next we'll do garage I stopped into garage for a little bit um, just because I can't remember the last time I've actually been in a been in a garage feels a little young for me, which is weird to say like what defines whether or not you can shop in a certain store. I don't know. Anyway, I picked up just a handful of things, the first being these earrings. 
again at checkout the little displays in the line these are just cute little hoops um and i thought they'd just be a great addition to my earring my jewelry collection i wear these small ones on a daily basis and never take them off but for a cute like dressing up going out i thought these would be perfect um next from garage is a matching pajama set so yeah i got the it's a short sleeve boxy kind of cropped pajama shirt and they also had shorts to match and i also picked up the full length bottoms to match i thought it was cute and because it's shorts and pants you can mix and match so that it doesn't have to be just a seasonal set anyway these are cute I like the neutral colors because usually it's like a red plaid for Christmas red and green and whatever so I really like this neutral set so I'm really excited about that and that is all that I got from garage just that next up my Zara purchase I was shopping with a friend and we were in the men's section and I you know walking around feeling all the fabrics being like this is cute this isn't and I stumbled upon this sweater and it's just a regular crew neck knit sweater um, it's just cute I got it in a men's large and yeah it's just a cute classic sweater which is something that I'm missing for my wardrobe like I have my classic crew neck sweatshirt but I don't really have a knit sweater that's a little more dressed up and timeless for daily wear it's very very soft like that is honestly what initially sold me is that it the material is so soft and buttery and um yeah and on the same train with clothes I have one piece from H&M again a classic timeless piece and it's an oversized blazer it's just black it's from H&M nothing fancy about it honestly doesn't have any vents has one button um doesn't even have button cuffs it fits oversized but because it's a women's oversized they tend to have the sleeves kind of short and then the body long and boxy um so that's what this is as opposed to a men's which would have been long in the sleeves and long in the body and boxy and everything um, so I just picked up this one from H&M, an oversized blazer, it's that very classic quintessential like that girl Instagram influencer, like you need an oversized blazer, that influencer starter pack basically. Um, so I just got this one from H&M. Uh, next up we have also one piece from Aritzia. There's always something from Maritzia, am I right? I think this was part of my last Aritzia purchase, but it was back ordered, so I just got it recently. It's the TNA Butter Atmosphere 7 inch high rise short, like the bike shorts. Um, these feel so good. They do feel like the little lines. They're so buttery and soft and fit really nicely and the length is perfect for me. So I'm really excited about this. I haven't worn it out. It still has the tags on it, but I'm already like, do I get another one? <laughs> um, so obviously, again, not necessarily seasonally appropriate, but um, 
it's one of those things where when it actually gets to the season it's always like back ordered or sold out so I figured I would just get it closer to a time when not everyone has it on in their basket and I know I said I only had one thing from Maritzia and that's true this is more of a repurchase um in my last haul I had the mega the cozy AF mega fleece sweats in black and a gray pair of the boyfriend straight leg sweatpant and I returned the Heather Cloud white straight leg boyfriend sweatpant and purchased a great pair of the mega the cozy fleece mega sweatpant in Heather chrome I just I didn't like the way the boyfriend straight leg fit so but I also did want a gray pair of sweatpants so I just went back and repurchased the cozy AF mega and the heather chrome and I'm excited about that it fits the same I got it in the medium as well as the bike shorts I don't know it's cute it's last but not least still these things I didn't buy with the intention of filming a that girl haul it just kind of happened as I was picking and pulling things and bringing them home and looking at them all together I was like this is a very niche aesthetic and I mean I like what I like and this is not me saying that you have to be a certain way it's just me realizing that maybe those are the things that I gravitate to and enjoy and put a smile on my face whatever and so going with that is a kind of random purchase for me um, as far as the that girl aesthetic something that does come to mind are the dainty uh tattoos like those girls with the dainty tattoos the finger the finger tattoos the arms the spaced out sleeve essentially anyway with that being said i made a purchase from inkbox and they are the temporary tattoo brand i picked up one that was one of part of the rupee cars um collection or collab with inkbox and the tattoo that i chose reads as such i have to honor my mind and body if i want to sustain this journey so i have now put it on my arm and i'm waiting for it to develop and i'm excited i don't have any tattoos but I just thought it was like a fun thing um, so yeah that is the last thing of my haul sorry I'm like looking around because I always I always forget something <laughs> so um, anyway that's kind of my random mishmash that girl inspired haul I hope you enjoyed it and took some inspiration from it you don't necessarily have to be a certain way you just need to find what you like and find what works for you and kind of lean into that i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you're having a wonderful day it's december and it's snowing and they're playing christmas music at work and all the vibes are just there for me right now i'm really excited for the holiday season and i hope you are too stay safe I love you and don't forget to tell your mom I said hi. Hi.